Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the another transformation operator that is pairwise. Pairwise, this is a simple, uh, what I can say, simple operator. It groups the pair of consecutive emissions. So that means consecutive emissions means one by uh, one, one by one emission, immediate immediate emissions together and emits them as an array. Now, if you try to see here the syntax for this one, pairwise it doesn't have any parameters. Now, here if you try to see the mar marble diagram, and in this marble diagram, what will happen? Uh, happen is so here you are having a source observable, and you are having the values a, b, c, d, and b, a, e. These are the values that are emitted by the source observable. And if you pass this one to the pairwise operator, what will happen is for the first time when A is uh, uh, emitted, it will not emit anything. So when the B is emitted, it will combine the previous uh, emitted value and the present current emitted value. It will combine this one as an array and it will emit that one. And if C is emitted means so B and C. So previous value and current value will be emitted as an array. So when D is emitted, C and D. E means D and E, then afterwards it will be completed. So that means what, I, what you can understand is pairwise operator will emit the data combining the previous value and the current value as an array and emit it to the output observable. So this is the pairwise. Here if you try to see some description about this one, the nth emission from the source observable will cause the output observable to emit an array of n minus 1 and a nth. For example, if you take this one as an n n, the emission will be in a such a way that n minus 1 comma n as an array. So this is the thing they are trying to say of the previous and the current value as a pair. For this reason, pairwise emits on the second and the subsequent emissions. So, for, for that reason, pairwise emits in the second emission. So, whenever the second emission uh, starts, then only it will co combine with the previous element and the current element. The so, source of the, but not on the first emission because there is no previous value in that case. So, if the first value is emitted, so it will not emit anything pairwise. Why? Because there is no previous element. So, this is the thing about the pairwise. Now, let us try to see the practical implementation of this pairwise. It is a simple thing only. What I can say is it is a pretty straightforward. Let us try to create ng gc pages slash sorry pages slash pairwise operator right. So, it is a simple thing we can we can understand very easily. So, just we will see the implementation of this one. Now, if I try to see here let us try to write pairwise right pairwise. Uh, now, let us try to add it in the operators also. Yeah, here I will use pair wise and here I can use pair wise. Yeah, so a little bit of confusion the name is so that is reason. Yeah, now here I can use pair. Let us try to see whether the component is created or not. So still it is saving I think. Yeah, it is saved here and here we need to get this pair wise operator pair wise. Now, if you try to open this one pairwise, yeah, pairwise operator, that is it. We have added and let us open the pairwise, pairwise operator. Yeah, we are able to get. Now, if I open this one, same, say, same example will take source of. So, these are all the things you need to practice actually. So, when we are, okay, what is happening here? OF 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 so 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 okay now let us import this one yeah so this one is still not saved let us save this one yeah here we will try to add of of so whether it will come or not let us try to see it is not coming I do not know what happened so import from rxjs okay of of right of of yeah now source dollar dot subscribe of data and we will do the console dot log of data. Now we need to do the pairwise operator. So now if I try to add pairwise, let us try to add. So I am trying to add the pairwise operator here dot pipe of pairwise, right pairwise. What is happening here? Why it is not showing these all things of comma pairwise, right? Yeah, we can take this pairwise and I can add this pairwise directly. That's it. Now I have added this pairwise. Now let's try to see the output here. If I go here and if I try to see the output, what is happening? Oh, something has happened, I think. 
let's try to go and see this okay for this reason i think uh, we are getting an error yeah now let's try to see let's go to this pairwise now if i open this pairwise now if you try to see here one two two three four three four now if i try to click it again if i go into delay and if i go come here pairwise oh sorry if i try to refresh it again yeah one two two three three four so previous value and the current value has been emitted as an array if you go to the pairwise you are here one one two two three and three four these are the values that has been emitted for example let's say that uh, let's convert this one to what i can say is as an object notation next yeah this is one and error let's copy this one and convert this one to error and here also error right and the last one we'll be having the complete right now let's try to see that console.log whether it will do the complete or not okay yeah now if you try to see the output it will display the values 1 2 2 3 and then it is calling the complete it's fine now for example let's say that i have only one value okay only one value is there now whether uh, now what will happen the pair pairwise will not emit any data why because it doesn't have the another value so one doesn't have any previous value to combine as an array so for that reason what it will try to do is so it will not emit any data and it will just simply call the complete method so this is about the pairwise so for the pairwise to emit the data it should contain at least two values that is the main thing i want to explain you so it, it should contain at least one two values so if it has one value means it will not emit that one value and it will just call the complete thing if it has the two values means it will take those two values and it will combine do, those two things as an array and it will display the as an output of one two and then it will call the complete okay so this is about the pairwise operator hope you understood about this pairwise operator so this is one of the transformation operator if you have any doubts and any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you